Good evening, and welcome to uh, our New Hope Missionary Baptist Church uh, weekly Bible study. Uh, glad to have you with us uh, tonight uh, as we uh, continue in our study of God's Word. Uh, pray that you've had a uh, blessed day, a wonderful day in the Lord, and uh, just come to the evening portion of a day, it's always good to reflect back on the fact that God has been very good to us, uh, has been good to us uh, and kept us and, uh, and gave us a, a, a mind to want to study his word, and, and that's, that's a blessing. Uh, there's a blessing in, in that, uh, I don't know about you, but there were times when God's word was the farthest thing from my mind. Thank God for his grace, his mercy, his, his patience, his long-suffering, um, that he continues to work on us. And I was saved, but just uh, was not uh, pursuing, uh, trying to grow in the knowledge of God. And that once we grow in his knowledge and trying to, trying to do better and work and walk better. Uh, but thank God for his, his amazing grace. And, uh, and so we... I'm so glad to have you tonight um, as we continue to study uh, from the book of Acts, chapter 2, uh, and uh, the miraculous uh, coming of the Holy Spirit, and, and then uh, the coming of the Holy Spirit, uh, what, what manifested itself uh, in that, on that day of Pentecost that was fully come. Uh, and so we want to study tonight, uh, we want to finish up chapter 2 tonight. Uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, as this whole thing is coming together, we just see the power of God and how uh, it works in miraculous ways uh, and how he can use uh, individuals who we think are not worthy. And uh, so we'll, uh, as we, before we begin, we're going to uh, uh, just have a word of prayer and then uh, go into this. God, we just thank you for uh, our time together tonight. We thank you uh, for each person, God, that is taking time out. I think it's important enough uh, to hear, thus say the Lord, and, and meditate, and then try to live it out based on what you say is your will according to your word. And so, God, we thank you for each hearer. God, those who were not able to join us tonight, God, we ask that you would bless them, that they would be able to join us on the next time, uh, and that we all uh, sense the importance of getting to know you better, and the only way we can get to know you better is through your uh, holy word. So God, help us tonight, open our hearts and our minds, O oh, Heavenly Father, that uh, we grasp truth of the text, O oh God, and then become doers, and not hearers only. God, if you just do that for us, we will be mindful to give you the praise and the glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen, amen. Again, we welcome you. This is the New Hope Missionary Baptist Church, uh, Tampa, Florida. Uh, and again, we are studying from the book of Acts. We're going to finish up chapter 2 uh, tonight. Uh, and uh, and uh, so kind of get us, make sure our minds are, are where uh, we need it to be. Uh, we finished up last uh, week. Um, uh, we, we know that uh, the, the Holy Spirit has filled uh, the apostles and disciples who were up in the upper room. They've been filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, they uh, have been given uh, the power to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. It was the power of the Holy Spirit that gave them the power uh, to speak in these other uh, tongues. We we, we've already noted the fact that these are different. This is different than the tongues we find uh, Paul talk, talking about in uh, 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 Corinthians, uh, where he talks about, um, we talked about this earlier, the fact that these other tongues uh, uh, that he was speaking of in the church, that uh, if we were to speak in other tongues, we need a, an interpreter um, so that it would be beneficial uh, to uh, other hearers. Otherwise, it just... It would be just words that would not be understood or have any meaning. But here we're talking about in Acts chapter 2, uh, these other tongues. Uh, these are other languages. These are languages um, that uh, the folk who were speaking them, they had never learned. 
uh, never been educated in, didn't go to any school to learn them. Uh, these, uh, these are other dialects. These are, uh, are other dialects that people from various places uh, who were uh, in town for the feast uh, 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 and, and this crowd, uh, that they uh, would be able to understand in their own uh, dialect, their own language, um, uh, 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 what was being said about, about God. We talked about last week the fact that uh, the folks who were doing uh, the speaking in other uh, languages uh, were uh, p p people from Galilee. They were Galileans. And this, this, this stunned. They were astonished. Uh, the folk in the crowd were just blown away because we talked about the fact that people from Galilee were considered to be rude, uncivilized, uneducated folks. Their language con was considered to be uh, corrupt. Uh, it was distinctive. You could pick it out and know that a person was from Galilee. Yet, uh, they, they were just looked at as uh, unworthy, uneducated folk, not knowing anything about the languages of other nations, the customs of other nations. And uh, here we have God using these lowly folk, these Galileans. He's used, he uses them uh, uh, in this mighty and miraculous way. And so, and so that, that, that was blowing the folks mind that God was using them and they were doing it speaking fluently in these other dialects and the dialects of these various uh, places. We, we pointed out last week, we have, uh, we have folks from all over the uh, Mediterranean area, all over uh, the known world at that time. We, um, and so we went through all those different groups and where they were, were from and that, 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 that this miracle was happening. We also pointed out last week that not only was this the miracle of the speaking of other, with other tongues, these other languages, other dialects, the, the ability that the Holy Ghost was giving these folk, we also pointed out the fact that there was a miracle of hearing. At the same time that all of these various dialects are being spoken, these different languages are being spoken, uh, at the same time, nothing to indicate that uh, as I said last week, that there was one by one as the people were speaking. They're speaking at the same time. Yet at that same time, each person, uh, these groups of people could hear uh, what was being said in their own dialect. So there was also a miracle of hearing. God intervened so that they could, what, hear individually. All right? And so uh, the number of languages being spoken uh, at this feast, uh, uh, Pentecost was, uh, it was astonishing, it was amazing because of the various uh, and the number of nations that were represented at the feast. And so that's, that's where we are, um, uh, uh, and what brings us to ver verse 12 is where we will begin tonight. Uh, look at verse, verses 12 and 13, which will close out uh, Acts chapter 2. So verse 12, Acts chapter 2, verse 12 says, um, And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Now this is the crowd. This crowd is astonished. Um, they are amazed uh, to the point that they are out of their senses. Can't make any uh, 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 sense out of it. They are in a wonder. And so now they begin to speculate, as we said last, last week, they begin to speculate about what in the world is going on. Now, they do identify the fact that these folks are speaking and they can understand it, and they are speaking about this, says in verse, uh, the end of verse 11, uh, they, we hear them speak in our tongues, the wonderful works of God. So. They're talking about God's power. They're talking about Jesus, the gospel. They can understand exactly what they're saying, but they can't make no sense out of it because these are Galileans who are doing this, and they're doing it with precision and perfection, and it just doesn't make sense. And so again, verse 12 says, And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? All right? So, so what it means is the people were much perplexed, um, not just a little bit. They, this, was, this had blown their mind, 
all right? They were much perplexed. Now, they recognized, um, they had to recognize, they recognized that all of the signs pointed to a very significant event occurring. You got to put it all together. You got Galilean, look down on everybody. Well, first of all, just them getting there. Remember, we, 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 we talked about in a, a past study the fact that either it was the sound uh, as of the uh, uh, rushing mighty wind that they heard or the people speaking uh, in these other, with other tongues, whatever, heard, whatever they heard, it was enough that they, it drew them what? It drew them to where what? the apostles were. Again, we got folks in, in town for the feast. We got the crowd. We also have other residents. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Other people uh, who resided in Jerusalem. All these folks are there, um, but they were not necessarily at um, where the apostles were. But, 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 but they either hear the sound of the wind, mighty rushing wind that draws them uh, to uh, the central location um, where the apostles are or them speaking in tongue that draws them there. Um, and we talked about that it's probably uh, drew them near the temple because that would have been large enough to accommodate uh, a big crowd. And we'll find out that there's a big crowd uh, of people that were there, but they hear something and it draws them. They hear it and it draws them, them there. Um, and so they know something is amiss. So they, they hear this, that something that draws them. Uh, it draws them to this central location. And then when they get there, um, they, they are encountered by these uh, Galileans speaking fluent languages or, or dialects that they had never learned. Um, and, and they're doing it in such a way that they understand because they, they say that uh, they're talking about the wonderful works of God. So they understand that. But even though they recognize it's a significant event, they have no explanation for it. They have no explanation for it. Because it says, and they were all amazed and were in doubt. When you look at it, it says, were in doubt. What it, what it means is they had a, it, there was a sense of hesitancy or anxiety. They were, they were hesitant, they were anxious. Man, something going on here, but we just can't put our finger on it. What, is, what in the world? We're here for the feast. We, we, you know, we, we're following what we're supposed to do. We're here, uh, but, 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 but this is just blowing our mind. We were not expecting anything like this, and so they were in doubt. Right? There was a sense of hesitancy. There was a sense of anxiety about what was going on. And, and let's be fair. If it was us and we, this was going on with us, there may have been the same what, uh, uh, sense in us. All right? So they were in doubt. Now, remember, uh, earlier in our studies, uh, uh, Luke has written that they were uh, devout. They were devout. But, but they couldn't explain this event. They were people who were cautious about wanting to, they were people cautious about wanting to offend God. Uh, they were religiously, what, pious, yet they couldn't explain this. However, however, th there was no doubt that they had to have some sense that God was in it because, uh, 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 there was no doubt in what they saw and what they heard. They saw it, couldn't, couldn't deny it. They're speaking in our languages, we understand it, and they're speaking about the wonderful works of God, but they didn't know what to make of it. Uh, and, and, and have we all been there at one point in uh, our lives when uh, God is moving it's, it's, and, and we don't know what to make of it, but we see it. We know it's happening. We, 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 we've, uh, many folk have had a testimony. I went to the doctor. They sent me for MRIs and x-rays, and they, they saw a spot or something, 
and, and, and then they told me I needed to come back. And when I went back, they, they just sitting there scratching the head and said, I, I, I don't know what to make of this. I don't know what to make of this. I know I saw what I saw on the last test, yet when I run the test today, I see nothing. Uh, and I don't know what to make of it. And so, and so it is the power of God that we have before them, and they just don't know. They see it. They see it. They hear it. Uh, and they know what the folk are talking about, but they don't know what to make of it. They had acknowledged that the fact was that, <coughs> excuse me, that the folk were speaking clearly about the wonderful works of God. <coughs> but, and they were speaking it in their native dialect, it was undeniable. Yet they were perplexed, hesitant, and filled, <coughs> excuse me, with anxiety all right now verse 13 <clears throat> verse 13 <clears throat> others it says others mocking said these men are full of new wine these men are full of new wine all right so so these was so we got the devout folk they're perplexed. So you got to understand, we've got a separate group now. <clears throat> got the devout folk. we got the folk who are uh, uh, there for the feast. And, 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 and they, we would say there was devout men uh, in Jerusalem. They were from all of these different nations. We have we established all of that. Um, they, they, they know about God. They're speaking about the wonderful works of God. So they understand this. But then we have others. There's always some others. All right? Others said, these men are full of new wine. These were some bystanders. These were bystanders who were natives of Jerusalem. Some people, uh, they've been described, some have described them as common people. Common people in Jerusalem. They're standing by. They're seeing all of this. And they say, hmm, mock the people. The first thing they do is mock them. Um, there also may have been in this crowd some scribes and Pharisees, all right? And then it says they mocked, which means they, or they derided those who were uh, speaking in these different dialects. In other words, they poked fun at them. They, 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 they threw shade at them. Uh, so to speak. Um, uh, so they, they mocked them, and in doing so, they were, what people, you know, you have to be careful what you, who you pick at and what you pick on, because what they were mocking, they were mocking that which was sent to mankind uh, who accept Jesus Christ, who the power, they were really mocking the power of God that had overshadowed um, these uh, dedicated uh, disciples and apostles who had waited patiently in the upper room for the coming of the Holy Spirit. Uh, they, 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 they had waited according to Jesus' command to wait uh, until they were endued with power uh, so they could go out and spread the gospel throughout the then known world. They were mocking these folks and the power that overshadowed them you have to be careful make be careful about who you pick at and who you pick on um, um never know what power of god is work the power of god is working in them and god will make amend for these folks turn to proverbs chapter one <clears throat> proverbs chapter one Verses 24 through 26. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 24 through 26. It says, Because I have called, and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my 
reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And so, and so, and so, and so, to all to the believers, uh, folk will laugh at you. Thank you, crazy. Wonder why you carry on the way you carry on. Sometimes you shout. Nothing wrong with that. Because, because you know the power of God that's working in you. Let them mock. Let them laugh. I tell you who will have the last laugh, and that is God. Don't allow others to shake your faith um, in doing what God has called you and empowered you to do. So, so those who mock, they was mocking those who spoke uh, with other tongues. They mocked them. They said they fool. Y'all know what fool means. They say they, they fool, which means that they had drank, they supposed that they had drank themselves into drunkenness, and not only had they got drunk, they remained drunk. That's what they suppose. When they say, when it says, uh, Others mock and say, these men are fools. You notice what they say? They are fools, and then there's a comma. In other words, they say they drunk, and they uh, 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 remain drunk. All right? Now, in some ways, I guess you could kind of understand. Can you imagine? All right, these, they are speaking uh, in these other uh, tongues, they are likely very excited, they're very jubilant, they're very joyful, and, 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 and so folk, when folk don't understand, they'll make up their own, their, their own thing. They will uh, come up with a why. Uh, be careful with just coming up with a why until there is a full investigation. Uh, but so you could, the scene is, is probably almost riotous. There's a there's a big. They're speaking in other tongues. They're full of the spirit. They're joyful. They're enthusiastic. And so they came to the conclusion that the men or these folks were fools. Because they're not just men. There were women as well. They were full. They supposed them to be full of new wine, which is translated sweet wine. This, this would be wine that was made from the drippings, from the clusters of grapes before the grapes were trampled, right? So they suppose that they were drunk. But here's the other thing. They may have been dancing. They may have been uh, exhibiting great excitement that made it appear that they were drunk. But what? explain the ability to speak with other tongues, to speak in these other dialects. That's the question. That Peter will answer the question uh, soon and very soon, but that's the question. Yeah, uh, you may see drunk people dancing around and, 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 and all of these other things, but what explains? Their ability, these Galileans, never trained, never been to school for it, would explain their ability to speak with the other tongues. And, and, and so therein lies the question. And so that, that brings us to the end of, of chapter 2 uh, of, of, of Acts. And so as a review before we... Uh, we'll be moving to chapter 3. We have the filling of the Holy Ghost. And this, this happened on, on when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Uh, this, is, this is the day, the, this is the large feast, uh, the largest of the feast, uh, the one, so the feast that drew the, the most people. I um, mean, God's sovereign, he uses this feast. Uh, as the time when he would pour out his spirit. They're in the upper room. They, the, the disciples were waiting. The apostles are waiting. Uh, and then in comes the sound from heaven. 
Uh, as of a rushing mighty wind, it filled the entire house. Uh, then the Holy Spirit came in the, in, the, in, the, in the likeness of cloven tongues, like as a fire. It, it landed on each one. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. They began speaking uh, with other tongues and, and, and speaking languages and dialects they've never learned. Um, those the devout men in, that were there, the people that was there, they were blown away. Out of their mind, didn't understand it. And certainly Galileans could not be doing this. These unruly, rude, uncivilized people in their minds. But we talked about the fact that God will use the least likely um, to blow your mind. He will take that which you would think could never be used. And he will use it to his Glory. We established the fact that these uh, uh, folks, have, well, they were from all over these um, nations throughout the Mediterranean. And each one of them uh, experienced the, not only the miracle of speaking, but the miracle of hearing that they could hear in their own native dialect uh, the goodness of God being spoken. And, and then we have these others who say that, hmm, they got to be drunk. Got drunk early in the morning, and they still drunk. Uh, uh, but, but we will soon find out that they were not drunk. Uh, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Father, we just thank you. Uh, we thank you in the name of Jesus uh, for uh, helping us tonight as we made our way through the text. God, we pray your blessing upon each hearer uh, of your Holy Word. Oh, God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. And we, we just want to be uh, submissive and open and say, God, use us in any way uh, you see fit uh, in your program. God, help us to be effective witnesses uh, to those who are in the world. Uh, God, it may seem strange to them some of the things that we do. But, Father, if we can just reach them and they accept Jesus to Christ and the Holy Spirit comes in their lives, it would all make sense to them. God, we ask that you would... Just bless the sick among us, O oh God. Heal them if it be by your will. Comfort our bereaved families, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, until we meet again, we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good night.